It's becoming all too common these days that when you turn on the news, you hear of innocent people being affected by mass shootings, natural disasters, and church burnings. It's kind of hard to keep the faith. Why does it seem like bad things happen to good people? It's a question we figured faith leaders would encounter the most. We wanted to know why. So we visited Peachtree Christian Church in Midtown, where Dr. Gerard Longbonds is the senior pastor. Quite frankly, that is a very American and modern question, but it, it, it's not actually a biblical question. In the Bible, you have the psalmist say, the enemies of me are against me, my people are against me. It sounds like a country song. They took my dog and my truck, mm -hmm. but you're still God. So I think every age, thinks of itself as being in the most difficult of times. The real question for the disciples, according to Jesus, is what are you going to do about it? Hmm. The Bible really tells us that the rain falls on the just and the unjust. We live in a world where people make bad decisions. We live in a world where things happen because we're finite creatures. Suffering happens to all people. The question is how do we negotiate our relationship with suffering? We live in tough, tough times. Do you face people coming to you saying, why did that happen to you? If God is a loving God, why would he allow children to die? Do people come and ask you about right, that? Right, right. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a more Christian question. The only answer, I think, though, for someone who's suffering a loss of anybody or pain of any type is the answer that we see in the book of Job. Job's friends come and sit with him for seven days. And sometimes that's the most human thing we can do is sit with people in their suffering mm -hmm. with the hope in our hearts of new life to come.